What's up, guys? Scott T. Bay again with the Small Town Riffer Podcast, and I want to know who is tired of material price increases for shingles. Um, I just had a conversation this morning with with our manager at our supply house, and he's a fantastic guy. We uh, we have a great relationship, um, but he was informing me in part of our conversation that we are receiving another price increase from our manufacturer, with which is GAF. Uh, and we love GAF, but, um, you know, th this is just getting, to me, it's getting completely out of hand. And I know that the price increase was initiated by Owens Corning, um, you know, a handful of weeks ago. And it's every single time that one of these manufacturers has a price increase, all the other manufacturers jump right on board and sure enough, here we go, everybody's increasing prices, and it is dollar for dollar the same. Uh, OC had a $5 or $6 increase. Two days later, here comes GAF, 5 or $6 increase. And I remember back in the day, they used to blame it on oil prices. They would always say that the price of oil because of the asphalt would dictate the price of shingles. Well, oil prices aren't up. They're probably down overall compared to um you know where shingle prices have been over the last five years and for some reason shingle prices keep going up i also know at least in our market it sure seems like um the amount of inventory is much better than it was say two years ago during covid so why are we paying more today when demand is lower than COVID times, oil prices are not up, but for some reason manufacturers think it's okay to continue to jack up pricing um, across the board. It's almost like um, a monopoly amongst 10 companies. Um, I feel like uh, me and all my competitors in my market, if we got together and basically said, here's what we're gonna price everything at, we're gonna jack everything up 20% and that's where we're gonna start. And then every three months, we're just gonna you know, keep increasing prices and we're all gonna do it at the same time um, and charge the same price. Um, so there's no competition. And the only people that I think could have some effect on this are the big players in the distribution space like ABC and Beacon and SRS. Um, you know, and, and I don't know where this video goes, but I hope it goes to those guys. And I hope um, maybe someday they will, you know, go sit down with these manufacturers and say, hey, enough's enough. Because these homeowners, it's not the contractors that that's eating that price. We're, pre we're passing that price on to our customers because we have to. It's a business. We're, we're trying to make a living. But the problem is these homeowners, they cannot afford it. And it's just getting worse and worse, you know, every time we get this increase. Um, so I'd like to know everybody's thoughts and, and kind of where, where people stand on this. Because I know my my contact that, you know, has has some weight in the space that, that I'm getting information from. You know, he's in the same boat I'm in. And, and there's really, it, it's nonsense and all the manufacturers are having record setting years year after year of profit um it's not hard to find these companies you know most of them are publicly traded anyway um even even the uh suppliers like like your srs and beacon are publicly traded so it's not hard to even see that these companies are showing you know record profit years and you wonder why because we keep paying them more and more so uh, let us know your thoughts because this, this is something that's just going to continue to get worse for us as contractors because our customers can't afford us anymore and we're going to be out of work. So uh, let me know, guys. Thank you.